I times I is I square. I times I times I is I to the power three. I times I times I times I is equal to I power four. Similarly, I times I times I times I times I is I to the power five. Now, if you think about it, I times I is I square. So this one is just the same as I square times I. So I it can be written as I power one. So this one here, it's the same I power four. It's the same as I square times I square. So I times I is I square. So same as I square times I square. And then similarly, I power five, it's exactly the same as I square, because I times I is I square. I times I times I is I power three. So there you go. So for I to the power of three, two plus one is equal to three. So for I power four, so it's same as I square times I square, which is two plus two is four. For I to the power of five, it's same as I square times I cube. This means that two plus three is five. So I square times I power three is I to the power five. So in general, I power of m times I power of n is equal to I to the power of m plus n. Please remember this for me. Let let do a few examples. So a power four times a to the power five. So this is equal to a to the power of four plus five, which is nine. So a power of nine. Three x power of three times four x to the power of seven. So what we do? Three times four is equal to twelve. And then x power of 3 times x to the power of 7, which is you 3 plus 7 is 10. So x to the power of 10. x squared times 2y power of 4 times 3x to the power of 5 times 5y to the power of 5. So first of all, we just sum all these numbers together first. So 2 times 3 is 6. 6 times 5 is 30, so which is equal to 30. And then x here, x squared times x to the power 5. So what we do, we just add the uh, index. So 2 plus 5 is 7. So x to the power of 7. Now for y to the power 4 times y to the power 5, so we just need 4 plus 5. So 4 plus 5 is 9. So y to the power of 9. 3p squared q power 4 times 5 p5 five, q5. Five. So which is equal to, so 3 times 5 is 15. So I just write 15 down first. Then p squared times p to the power 5. So which is 2 plus 5 is 7. So we just write p to the power of 7. And q to the power of 4 times q to the power of 5. So 4 plus 5 is 9. So q to the power of 9. Now this one here. 5x to the power of m times 3x to the power of n. So it's exactly the same process. So what we need to do is we just go 5 times 3, which is 15. Now the rule is a power of m times a power of n is equal to a power of m plus n. So x to the power of m times x to the power of n is the same as x to the m plus n. So we just write this down. That's all. So x to the power of m plus n. Last one here. So minus 2 y to the power of x plus 3 times 5 y to the power of x minus 2. 
So all we need to do is with numbers, which is times these two together. So minus two times five is negative ten. So for for y to the power of x plus three times y to the x minus two, they both are same base. So which is at the index. So x plus three plus x minus two. So which is simplified. That's all. So x plus x is equal to 2x and then 3 minus 2 is 1 so which is at 1 so the answer is y to the power of 2x at 1 please stop the video and do this one yourself So m squared times m power 3 said that both are same base. So all we need to do is we just add the index. So which is m, five, 2 plus 3 is 5. So just m to the power of 5. Now second one, 2 times 3 is 6. So we just write 6 down. y to the power 3 times y to the power 5. So both same base, which is which is at the index. So which is y to the power of three plus five is eight. So six y to the power of eight. This one. So minus two times five, which is negative ten. I just write the number down first. Now we just deal with x and then after that with y. So x squared times x power of three. So x squared times x to the power 3, both same base, which is at the index, which is 2 plus 3 is 5. So x to the power 5. And then for y, which is go y to the power 3 times y to the power 4. So I just write this down here. So y to the power 3 times y to the power 4, both are same base, so which is at the index, so which is 4 plus 3 is 7. So y to the power of 7. Next one here. So this one I just write equal first. So with numbers, so I do 2 times 3 is 6. 6 times 5 is 30. So which is equal to 30. And then we're going to deal with m first. So m to the power of 5 times m to the power of 6. So which is at the power. So m to the power of. 5 plus 6 is 11. And then for n square and n4, so which is n, 4 plus 2, which give me 6. So n to the power of 6. Second last one. So 3 times 5 is 15. Now p 2t times p 5t. So which is both are same base. All we need to do is just write, it's just at the index. So which is 2t plus 5t. So which is 2t plus 5t is 7t. So which is p to the power of 7t. So I just write this down. Power of 7t. Last one here. So 4 power of 2r plus 1 times 4 to the power of 3r plus 4. So the base, both are 4. So all I need to do is I just add the index. So the power is, I just add the power if you like. So which is 4 to the power of, I've just write this down first. So 2r plus 1, we add 3r plus 4. So 3r plus 4. So 2r plus 3r, which is 5r. 1 plus 4 is 5. So the index is 5r plus 5. So I just write this down, 5r plus 5. So the answer is 4 to the power of 5r plus 5. Thank you so much for watching.